Good afternoon, my people. Friday, beautiful day. Uh, we just got done saw cutting that other floor from yesterday. We go just dressing up the road. Probably not gonna haul nothing out today because it's already about one o'clock. Gonna finish excavating this. We'll stockpile everything here. We got the architect coming over to go over what we got to do here i believe we're going to underpin this we're going to come out three foot drop down 18 inches then they'll have to put another footing here in a stub wall to support this the floor will be capped so on and so forth and i'll show you that on the print once i get it but yeah we're going to just take the machine off here bring her down here into the hole and uh stay tuned guys hopefully you can see down in that hole a little bit i'll get you down in there in a minute but we're gonna underpin this uh footing 18 inches from the bottom so 28 inches down from the top of that footing we're gonna dig down then across that yellow or orange line which is there let me get you out here this you can't see i got wires all hooked to me but um so right here where Miko is, he's measuring 28 inches down to the top of the footing. Then there's a line right here, orange, where we're keeping that that healthy meat to hold this house up across and then go back to the footing like we did here. And then all this dirt on this side, on this side of that orange line will come out. And then we'll continue that grade all the way. And then what we'll do is we'll, once the walls are all up, we'll pour a floor in there and hit that dirt and then two cores, a course a block to hold the dirt and then a slab on top of that. So hopefully that made all sense. He doesn't have a print. We just kind of hash that out. I don't even know if he's gonna get me one or not, but it's pretty much uh, basic construction if uh, if you know it. But um, yeah, so that's where we're at. We got water seeping out from under the house a little and you know, I made sure he signed off on that's what they wanted me to do because I'm not gonna undermine someone's house without having a uh, having an architect or an engineer I should say sign off on it but uh yeah so we're gonna keep digging we'll hold this grade and we'll, we'll, you'll see uh, you'll see what I see <laughs> lost some words there but yeah a lot more dirt's got to come out now but I will check back as soon as we get that thing notched out all right guys we just got it notched out you can see down below i'll go slow here where that you can still see a little orange where the tra transit is and i got it notched and uh that should work here's the architect coming back he wants to talk so i'll check back as soon as he's done all right i'm back he's a nice guy so <clears throat> This is where we're at. We're just going to dig this out. We're going to carry that grade where we are. Uh, where Miko's standing now. We got the grade set. Wood's going to put the laser on the stick so he doesn't have to keep reading it. But I'm out of battery. The batteries are dead in this receiver. And we had a late start here. And I'm not running to the store right now. So uh, I'll get you in the hole, give you a little better view off a tripod in a bit. Just keep you in the cab with me, it's AC in here. It's hot out there, you might as well be in here, right? So let me speed you up a little. Uh, we'll get you going to maybe 12, 1400 RPM right about now, boom! guys i just gave the architect a call back i'm making a judgment call i don't like the way that's coming out i'm comfortable with going right down because we have hard pan clay here i'm gonna cut this right tight to the house all the way around that jog 
it's just a better scenario as far as leaving that dirt there and then having a build out of 56 inches before the step so then the homeowner has to duck for 56 inches below below all the head joists and uh this will allow him just to start stepping down as soon as he comes out from the basement this is more comfortable for a homeowner and that's what i want to do and i just called and approved it with the architect told him that's we're good to go on this so he agreed he says do it and uh that's what i'm doing i'm gonna chop this all away and we're gonna make it a nice and nice tedious little little tiny project tedious you know craziness craziness what is going on here but we'll get it in uh I'll check back in a bit once we start hogging some material away. All right. All right, guys, we got that all notched out. As you see on the foundation there, come out good. A little fine tuning we'll do with a pickaxe. Don't want to put too much pressure on that or clip a corner and undermine it. So just hogging out the dirt. We're limited space here because I got a septic to my right. So I can't really pile dirt there and I'm just stocking it here and the septic tanks on the back side of that pile now septic system on that side We got a pool over here on my right Then we don't you know with all this dirt's coming off. So I'm trying to put it in a spot that I can load it all out and still dig the Foundation and now that we're another 18 inches deeper We got more dirt coming out so we're getting it though we are getting it we'll probably work a little late today and hopefully we'll be able to get this if we have enough room before i have to load out might have to load out in between you know maybe sunday i'll come back and load some dirt out tomorrow we're going to be on uh that church job i don't know if anybody's seen that i did a preview of that like th almost three months ago probably now but we're going to scaffold that abandoned church that needs to be just patched up and repaired so they can sell it it's more the city's making us doing it more to be safe than uh, cosmetics they just want it fixed So anyways, we just got this right where my machine's sitting. I'm gonna sitting in the far corner of uh, 
the foundation and I'll show you in a minute. See, so we got this whole thing dug and we're making it like an octagon. Okay, this quick clip is for all the people watching that don't follow me on a regular basis. This is the foundation that we, or the addition that we just dug. This is the existing house and garage. All the, this is another addition we will be digging and this, um, but this is the one we dug. So if you're looking at the house, you see it comes off and then it's cocked. So we made an octagon to make everything fit. There was the existing retaining walls, the existing stairs we dug down against. So quick clip just to catch up. And if you didn't see the first video of this, check it out and it will get you all caught up. All right, guys, stay tuned. So they could fit it in there. We definitely want to have enough. It's going to be tricky to backfill this. That whole one corner where the retaining walls are, we can't really boom the distance. So we might have to you rent a little piece of a dingo or something to get the material back in there. We could dump truck it to here, drop it off, and then skid steer it over to me, and then maybe I'll boom it in. I don't know yet. We don't know until the foundation's in. But it's definitely going to be tight. So, pretty much boring video today because we're just hogging dirt. Really not too much detail. On uh, It's pretty straightforward. We're just digging a foundation. Obviously, the tricky part was laying it out. Then we just go to our paint marks. Once we hit our uh, elevation we need of that footing, below the footing, which is 18 inches, you just carry that grade all the way with the laser. No brainer. Just pulling levers, that's all we're doing. Pulling levers, left, right, forward, up, down. All day, every day. So, it's Friday. What do you guys want to hear? Some rock and roll? Huh? Some rock and roll on Friday? Let's get it turned up. Here we go. Boom! Foundation just about dug. We're just cleaning up the last edge. Look at the size of the dirt pile I got. We got to truck all this off. Probably 20 trucks there. I mean, figured, ah, not 20. Well, we already pulled eight. And uh, I think the whole job figured for like 33 trucks off. So that's including the other foundation too. So there's probably a good another 10 or 12 there. I would imagine, I don't know, maybe more, maybe. It always puffs up more than what quantities come out of the ground. When you figure a job, you know, you always gotta figure for a little more trucking because cubic yardage is compacted when you're measuring it with a tape measure. And then when you go to put it out here, it's almost double. He says two more inches here. We actually hit good gravel, not gravel, but almost a type of gravel right here where I'm digging now, this one corner. Good drainage anyways, it's not clay, that's for sure. It's a gravelly, silty mix, a little, a little bit. All right, my people, it is around four o'clock and we got a whole nice octagon, like a, like a ring, an octagon fighting ring. Oh boy, he's calling me out, that's it. Let's go, boy, come on. You always got a bad knee, he says. Come on. Look at this, huh? Welcome to the octagon, brother. Sweet. Jacked up on iced coffee. We got her, dog. 
we got the underpinning full 18 inches a lot better than you know i was i we had a little water coming out here but the rest was dry and this part here because that's a walkout basement drops another four foot down here so we have all that structure holding and really the house is sitting on these you know your gable ends are sitting on here so we're gonna be good we'll come in footings are gonna be coming hopefully next week that's not part of my contract we're just doing the excavation on this job <clears throat> so we got this once this foundation's in we'll be back we'll put stone on the inside put our pipes around the outside backfill stone on the outside and then truck in clean gravel and go around this whole thing and yeah this is gonna be super tight to get the material here um because we can't drive dump trucks over here because it's all leach field septic field but all that dirt is getting trucked out so we'll be trucking that out and uh yeah finished out good today super stoked friday and uh we will see you guys uh, maybe the weekend. Actually, tomorrow we're setting scaffold on that church, so be sure if you didn't look at that project to go back and look for the abandoned church project. That's where we'll be tomorrow. I'll get a couple clips of, this, of uh, the scaffold going up there. So, uh, yeah, thanks. Give me thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Later.